In this video, I want to show how we can go ahead and add new users during the runtime of our optics application. Uh, previous videos, we created users um, based, you know, basically in the design time in the in logics uh, in the optics studio, and we did that, you know, by coming in here and just basically going to the dashboard and saying manage users and groups, and we were able to, you know, add new users. Um, but what if we want to do that while, you know, during the runtime uh, of the optics application? So um, in our template library, we have another widget that we can use called user editor. And in the previous video, when I created the login form, I had created a folder already called user security. And this was just a folder that was kind of a holding place for these widgets from the library. So I'm going to take this user editor again, you can go to widgets and then scroll down and find user editor, or you could search for user editor up here. And I'm going to take this widget. I'm just going to take it and drag it and put it into the user security folder. And that adds the user editor now underneath. So uh, if we expand that, we'll see there's several types of uh, things down here. We're going to mainly just look at this uh, user editor overview. Um, when we, uh, that's what we're going to use. So um, we created a, a screen called user login last time. We're going to create one more screen, a new screen, and we're going to call this user management. And I'm going to right click on user management. I'll say new. I'll say screens, user security, user editor, and I'm going to say user um, editor overview. And um, we'll go back to our, our main window here, and I'm just going to take this screen and drag it to navigation. Now, we can also, you know, since we showed the ability to to assign you know various uh, groups and roles and uh, et cetera to our individual pages, we could enable this. We could enable this um, you know user management to only be on a particular role. For instance, we would probably say just an administrator would have the access to this screen. So we can go and um, change that. You know down here we see our our panel six. And we have our enabled and our visible. So if we wanted to, we can only, you know, we wanted to just enable this for group two, you know, maybe group two is our, our, um, you know, uh, administrators or whatnot, right? Or we could have an administrator role created that we would actually probably use. But we can, we can, def you know, we can um, uh, prevent other people from getting into the screen that aren't authorized. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the emulator and just show how this works. Oh, actually, that is not it. <laughs> Sorry about that. There was a uh, rather important detail here. So um, so back on our uh, user management screen, we need to, um, we do need to assign, you know, where it's going to find the users in the groups from uh, to do this. So we see the user and, and, um, and groups right here. Um, I will go down to the security uh, and I will take my user folder and drag it up to users. And I will take my groups and grab, gr drag it up to groups. So that was a very important step that I almost forgot. Um, <clears throat> so now we are ready to start the emulator and go into the project and see how this works. All right, so here's our emulator. Uh, we're going to go to the user. Notice how the user management screen is grayed out because we're not logged in and they don't have, we're not in the right uh, group assignment. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to say user two, because user two was assigned to group two. Enter the password. We are now logged in. User management is now um, enabled. And here is the widget, right? So all I did was put the widget on the page. I didn't have to do anything else to the widget. 
Um, I do, uh, so if I wanted to, I could uh, create a, a new user. And um, so we can say create, give our user a name, give our user a password, uh, assign it the locale. In this case, you know, the locale is, there's only one locale for us. That's going to be the, in English in the U.S. And then assign what group we want to put user three in and say apply. So if I come back here and if I log out now, I have a user three available to me and I can log in. User three was assigned to uh, group one and group one had the ability to see this particular screen. It became active once, once that user logged in, All right? So we can create users um, during, the, during the development phase. Um, or we can enable this, this user management widget and create users during the runtime of optics.